Good morning, students. I am Dr. Sunil Sarkar Assistant Professor, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, H.G. Balayakuri Institute of Technology, Belagami. Today, I am going to deliver a lecture on Module 3 of Digital Switching Systems, that is Telecommunication Traffic. Telecommunication Traffic. Let us move towards the today's contents, that is Introduction, Unit of Traffic, Congestion, Traffic Measurement, Mathematical Model, Lost Count Systems and Cubing Systems. Today in this class, I am going to cover Introduction, Unit of Traffic, Congestion and as well as Traffic Measurements. Okay. Now let us look at the Introduction part of Telecommunication Traffic. Okay. So, we can look about these two points. One is, when any of the interstate plant is to be designed initially, an initial decision must be made to its size in order to obtain the desired output. What it says? It says whenever you are going to design any industrial plant or telecommunication exchange, telephonic exchange, at that time a care must be taken depending upon what? Depending upon the size of the plant. Along with that, again the two parameters are there. One is one is the number of subscribers number of subscribers and other is what how traffic is to be handled during any international calls or it might be a local calls okay these are the two parameters plays very important role in the telecommunication traffic one is size other is with respect to the size again we, we need to focus on how many subscribers are going to get the facilities and and one more thing is what how traffic is to be handled so based on these two parameters Okay, this based on these two parameters, it shows or it obtains the desired throughput. If any desired, sorry, if any industrial plant is to be desired, then we need to focus on these three parameters. One is with respect to size, other is the number of customers or the number of subscribers, and one more is what? How traffic is to be handled. All these parameters depends on what? To calculate or to measure the desired throughput of the industrial plants. Okay. Another point is what? In you, you see that in a telecommunication system, it is the traffic to be handled, which determines what parameters, which determines the number of trunks to be provided. Okay, how many trunks is what? Call. How many calls are in progress at that moment? Okay, these are the two three parameters we are going to look after in order to obtain the desired throughput. Okay. Now, now let us look at the trunk. Okay, so what do you mean by trunk? Uh, the definition says that trunk is used to describe any entity that will carry only one call. Okay, a device, you can, you can see the device where the number of uh, wires were connected. Out of that, only one wire is used to connect a call to the subscriber only for the time. Okay, that is what the meaning of this. Where trunk is used, which is helps us to describe only one entity only one entity that will carry only one call. Okay. So I am saying this. One call is nothing but what? One trunk. That depends on what? Again the two parameters. If your call may be connected to the subscriber who is located in thousands of kilometers away from you. Okay. At such cases we can call it as an international calls. And sometimes local calls. Where if you need to express in terms of meters. Okay. When you look at the distance between the international calls and as well as local calls, the trunk, the trunk may be connected through international calls or it might be a local calls and that all depends on what? These two things. One is, if it is an international calls, thousands of kilometers, okay, your subscriber is located in, uh, sub, uh, in the remote locations where it, it is going to describe in terms of thousands of kilometers, whereas for the local calls, we have several meters okay where both the subscribers on that and there will be a distance of what in terms of several meters say for example 2 meters 5 meters or it might be a maximum of 100 meter or 500 meters okay that is what the meaning of this particular trunk okay now what do you mean by trunking trunking is one where the arrangement of trunks and as well as switches will take place within a telephone exchange Okay, see, my dear students, we have a cell, okay, where a telephone exchange, we have a cell, I am going to call this as a cell, 
where the telephonic exchange we have from this there are several subscribers who are located in the cell or the area where one computer is going to monitor all the activities whether the call is connecting from one end of the subscriber to the other end of the subscriber through international calls or through several meters okay and this particular arrangement of switches and as well as the trunk carried out in the entire telephone exchange is called as what trunking okay this is the meaning of the trunking where a proper trunks and as well as switches arrangements are going to take place within the telephone exchange depending upon what again depending upon these two parameters whether it may be an application of international calls or it may be an application of local calls okay this this is trunk and as well as trunking now let us look for the next concept okay now let us move towards the next concept that is unit of traffic so before going to see the unit of traffic let us find the definition for traffic okay traffic is defined as the average number of calls in progress okay then what is the unit of traffic the unit of traffic is erlangs okay which is designated as e where name as name of the ak erlang who is the pioneer of okay he is a danish pioneer of what traffic okay then on a group of trunks the average number of calls in progress depends on what both the number of calls which arrive at their duration a traffic is what it's a simple average number of calls it might be what both incoming calls and as well as outgoing calls they are not restricted uh, to only the incoming calls at that duration of time uh, the average number of calls they are going to consider to provide the definition for traffic okay they are going to consider both incoming calls and as well as outgoing calls okay if i want to measure the traffic then i am going to look after one sorry error now who is error now he is a pioneer of a traffic which is named as ak erlang okay this is what the meaning of the unit of a traffic okay now the next concept is holding time now let us look at the concept of holding time so what do you mean by holding time see duration of call is often called its holding time when because it holds a trunk for that moment or for that particular time so whenever a call is hold from one subscriber to the other subscribers this particular time i am going to consider it as holding time say for example a subscriber one is located in this area and subscriber two is located in this area when the call is get connected okay from one subscriber to the other subscriber when they are sharing the information between these two a time which is nothing but what a when which which is where the call is in progress at that moment okay that particular moment or the time is called as what holding time now let us look at the examples of how the traffic is being carried on three trucks okay that is one erlang how it is going to be carried on three trucks you can see these two figures figure a and as well as figure b where are these are the trunks trunk 1 2 3 here also trunk 1 2 3 in the first figure you can notice okay how this says that there were no much traffic and it is very easy and it is free at that moment but when you see at the second trunk it is where the traffic is more okay means the status is busy even when you look at this figure second figure a some part of the portion is free and other part of the portion is full of traffic okay even you can see the trunk number 2 in the second figure again this says that the, the it is free okay and the next case at the third trunk we have a simultaneous free and as well as busy status as we see in case of the examples of how one Erlang of traffic has been carried on the three trunks. Okay, this is what a small example and as well as the definition of holding time. Okay, now the next part is next part is in North America traffic is expressed in what 
in terms of centum pulse per second. Okay, that is what uh, we are going to have. One CCS or CCS. CCS in the sense of what? Centum pulse per second. Okay, that is for one hour. For one hour, that is equal to thirty-six thousand seconds. We have out of that. The one hour can be represented in terms of the according to North America. That is thirty-six cc. Yes, they are going to use one hour in terms of thirty-six cc. As we know that c is hundred. Okay, that is centum. We call it as centum pulse seconds in terms of seconds. According to whom? According to the North America. Okay, now. Uh, so one one hour is called this thirty six thousand seconds. Sorry, one hour long. One hour long can be represented as what? Thirty six CCS. According to what? According to North America. North America specifications in the telephone company. They are going to represent one hour long is equal to thirty six CCS. Okay. From the definition of hour long, we have. A equation that is, which is represented by a is equal to c into x divided by t. So, what are these parameters? If I want to calculate the traffic in terms of error law, then we have the formula, which is nothing but a is equal to c into x divided by t, where where a is is represented by what? Traffic in error laws. Okay, where a is traffic in error laws. And C is what average number of calls or average number of call arrivals during time interval t. Okay, average number of calls or average number of uh, uh, calls arrival at time interval t, where the value of t remains what always 60 seconds, always 60 seconds, and for For uh, any of the solutions, if you want to find out the solutions for uh, any of the problematic, then you have to use the value of t is equal to what? 60 seconds for all the numericals. Okay. Then c. For example, assume that if c is equal to uh, c for c c is equal to uh, h or t is equal to h. If t is equal to h t is equal to h then then the value of a is becomes equal into c okay where a is what traffic in air logs v is equal into average number of calls arrival at t is equal to 60 seconds okay that is what this under which assumptions under t is equal to h okay then what do you mean by h okay H is what? H is holding time. H is holding time. Okay. So these are the parameters helps us to find out the value of traffic in terms of error logs. Okay. This is what we we have according to what according to the North American Telephonic Exchange specifications. We are going to designate one hour in, that is equal to thirty six thousand uh, thirty six. And uh, the 3,600 seconds, and one error log can be written as what? 36 cc. Yes. Okay. And again, we have if I want to calculate the value of a in terms of error logs, then we have formula a is equal to c into h divided by t, where a is traffic in error logs, c is average number of calls arrival at time interval t, and h is holding time, where t is can be written as what? 60 seconds. Okay. Assumptions: If you, if t is equal to h, then definitely a in error logs can be equal into c. Equal into c. Okay. Since we say that only one trunk is allowed for one call, so at that moment I am going to consider always a is less than or equal to less than or equal to one. Less than or equal to one. In under this condition, the traffic. Is a fraction of uh, an error log, a fraction of the error log, equivalent to the operation of the proportion of time to which the trunk is busy. Under these conditions, if this is a pattern when a is less than or equal to one, 
okay then we call it as what occupancy of occupancy of the trunk occupancy of the trunk under which condition when a is less than or equal to 1 under this condition we can have the the work on occupancy of the trunk okay now we move towards the next concept that is traffic variations in a minute short duration of time and as well as traffic variations in a day okay okay now see uh, the next concept is how traffic is going to vary in minutes and as well as in a day for this explanation we have a two figures one is plotted with respect to the minutes and other is plotted with respect to the day okay where x axis is plotted in terms of time in minutes where y axis is represented by falls in progress for both the figures okay when you consider the traffic variations in minutes at that time here the number of calls varies in random manner okay random manner as individual calls begin and as well as end you can see the figure where the number of calls are going to be occupied okay randomly when the number of calls begin and or it might be end individually okay so and here in case of this we have considered only the 4 minutes so the name is called as what short term variations in terms of minutes okay so whereas for traffic variations in a day thus overall single day is considered to plot a variations and to show the variations of traffic here the first case is am up to 1 to 12 that is represented by what am period and for the other conditions we have again we are treating it as pm from 1 to 12 okay when you add these two timings so that i am going to handle with respect to what 24 hours where 24 hours is in terms of what one day so in this fashion we are going to analyze traffic variations in a day okay now see here we can observe that we can observe only the less number of calls at the during the night okay when you plot when you see this figure at 5 am the calls are going to be increased and till what till till 10 o'clock because most of the time the office hours will start from 9 to 5 so under that consideration the existence of the calls which are in progress at 9 to 11 or 9, 9 to mid of the day there will be a huge traffic with respect to the calls ok the number of calls which were in progress at 9 to 11 will be more so under that considerations what we have from 10 to 11 I am going to call it as busy hour where the maximum number of calls are in progress at this hour so the, okay after that once the busy hour is the okay, then the calls were in progress they are going to reduce okay it reduces because because okay the, the whatever the uh, calls which are going to be used at that particular amount of time at the midday what happens the number of calls are going to be reduced okay and at this condition from 10 to 11 the number of calls were in peak that particular peak time is called as what busy hour okay in this figure 10 to 11 for any telecommunication traffic we can have the value of busy hour is 10 to 11 now what is the definition of busy hour busy hour is what it is a period of one hour okay which corresponds to the peak traffic in this figure 10 to 11 is having the peak value compared to the morning session and as well as evening session afternoon session so because of this what happens i am going to have the value of peak at that moment so this is what busy hour okay where it corresponds to the peak traffic okay now let us go through the some concepts or some uh, problems based on how traffic is to be calculated okay with respect to the calls and in terms of uh, air traffic.